Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm keeping it simple again and sharing what I eat in a day. All the meals that I eat are usually very simple and very easy to prep. I'm a busy mom of two and I work from home nine to five and I also maintain my social media accounts so I really don't have much time to make lavish dinners and create fancy recipes every single day. I like to quickly put together something very quick and make sure it's nourishing and healthy for my kids and for myself and off I go. So if you are into quick and healthy recipes then make sure you stick around and subscribe to my channel. My personal favorite meal that I'll be sharing with you guys today is my tacos. Surprisingly, this was my first time making these type of tacos. I usually make the Mexican style uh, of tacos, but this was something that I wanted to try out and it really turned out delicious. Even my whole family, my husband and my kids, they really enjoyed these tacos so much that they wanted them again for dinner. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. For breakfast, I made baked strawberry vanilla oats. I had a lot of overripe bananas laying around, so I put them to good use. And I baked these oats before I started my work for the day. I shared this recipe with you guys on my Instagram and TikTok a while back. I will link it for you in the description box below. But it's also available on my website and it's also on YouTube Shorts. These baked oats are so delicious and I really like to add extra peanut butter on top. You have probably um, guessed it by now that I love peanut butter. So I've been using my defatted peanut butter powder quite a bit on my recipes. So I just added a little bit more on top and I really enjoyed these oats. They are absolutely delicious. You guys really should try this recipe. And for lunch, I decided to make these delicious tacos. These are all the ingredients you're going to need to make them. I already had corn tortillas laying around in my fridge, so I just decided to use them. And I'm also using tempeh crumbles for this recipe, so make sure you guys make those in advance if you haven't yet. They really turn out delicious. So now I'm just chopping all my ingredients. I'm just using cherry tomatoes. I had red cabbage in the fridge that was laying around. So I just decided to use whatever ingredients I found in the fridge for this recipe. Honestly, you can use whatever you have in the fridge. But these were the ingredients I decided to use. And then I used a mango. This was an overripe mango that was also sitting around in my fridge. So I just added that to this recipe as well. I do recommend a mango for this recipe because mango is what gives it a nice flavor so make sure you do add a mango to these tacos. Then I'm just using about a quarter of an onion. Red onions are also wonderful for this recipe so make sure to use red onions if you have them. I like everything spicy so I am adding one jalapeno to this so make sure to adjust jalapeno according to your taste and you can remove seeds if you don't like them and I'm also adding some cilantro because we love cilantro. Then I also had avocados so I'm just using a quarter of an avocado. This is a very small avocado so it's um, just a little bit that I'm adding to my tacos to give it a nice flavor. So now I'm tossing everything in a bowl and then I'm just going to add some salt and lime juice to this and that's it. I'm just mixing everything and I'm going to keep this aside while I quickly heat up my tacos. To heat up my tacos, I just added them to my air fryer for just about a minute at 400 degrees. You can use your toaster oven or you can heat them up on the stove top if you like. 
and then I'm going to make the sauce. This is the star of this dish. For the sauce, I'm just using a basic hummus. I will add the details of this basic hummus recipe in the description box below. And then I'm just adding all the ingredients that I use to make the tempeh crumbles to give it that same flavor to this sauce as well. So it's just maple syrup, liquid smoke, some lime juice, garlic powder, and some salt. And then I'm also going to be adding some water to thin out the sauce. This is one of the tricks that I use to make all my sauces. I just make a basic hummus and then I use that basic hummus to make whatever sauce I want and I give it unique flavors depending on the dish that I'm using. So now I'm just assembling my tacos. I added some mixed greens and now I'm adding my tempeh crumbles on top. Now I'm just adding the taco salad that we prepared earlier on top. Now I'm going to drizzle this delicious yummy hummus dressing that we prepared earlier. This is the star of this dish and it really gives it a unique flavor i really recommend that you guys try this recipe you're going to love it i promise i'm just drizzling some hot sauce on top you can skip this part if you don't like it spicy and to add volume to this meal i'm adding a salad on the side i'm just going to be adding some nutritional yeast and the same hummus dressing onto this salad and eat that along with my tacos yes i ended up eating all these four tacos and i made a, another four for my husband as well for his lunch we both really enjoyed these tacos so much do give these tacos a try and let me know in the comments what you think in order to be successful in making this dish you really need to have your basic hummus ready and also your tempeh crumbles but everything else is super easy for dessert I decided to make these rice crisps I've been seeing this quite a lot on TikTok recently, so I just gave it my own spin by making it super low fat by using powdered peanut butter instead of actual peanut butter. And then I'm also going to make my own chocolate sauce with just cacao powder, maple syrup, some soy milk, and that's it. And I'm just adding some fresh blueberries because that's what I had in the fridge. You can add whatever fruit you like on top. This dessert was so good. I do recommend that you guys give this a try as well. So after I finished my work, I headed to the gym. That's what I usually do every single day. And then this day I was training chest and back. So I just sped up all these videos just to quickly give you a glimpse of what exercises I did that day. After I got back from the gym, I had sweet potatoes in the fridge already that were baked. So I just quickly toss them in the air fryer to heat up and they really get crispy and delicious. And then I chopped up my zucchinis and made zucchini fries. It was a very simple basic dinner. I didn't want to put much effort into my dinner so I just quickly tossed together whatever I had. If you haven't tried your pre-baked sweet potatoes in an air fryer, I highly recommend that you guys try them. They turn out so crispy and yummy, you will really love them. 
Now I'm going to season the zucchini fries with Tajin spice blend that I recently found and I really love it. I don't know if you have been using this spice blend before but if you haven't give this a try. This spice blend has lemon flavor and all the salt added already so you don't need to add anything extra other than this spice. Then I air fried my zucchinis for about 10 to 12 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit. And now I'm using my basic hummus again to make the dressing. I'm going to be using the same spices that I used to season my zucchini fries. Then I also decided to add two strips of seitan that I already had prepped from before to this dish just to add some extra protein. And then I drizzled the dressing on top and that's it. This dinner was so simple, quick and delicious and that is what I like. In the weekdays, I really don't want to put much effort into my food so this is what I do. Having some basic ingredients like your hummus will help you put together these meals very quickly on a busy weeknight. So I highly recommend that you guys make some sort of sauce to use throughout the week. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the meals that you've seen here today. My personal favorite is my tacos, so make sure that you give these tacos a try. You will not be disappointed. And let me know in the comments what you think. I just quickly want to say that in order for you to stick to a lifestyle and enjoy your weight loss journey, you really have to enjoy what you're eating. So make sure that you experiment in the kitchen with different spices, different, different vegetables, different fruits, legumes, beans, grains, whatever it is, and find your favorite foods and try to make those type of meals uh, consistently so that you can enjoy eating those meals and also get your kids involved in the cooking process. That is what I do. If my children are not into the food that I'm giving them, I really get them involved in the cooking process and they get very excited and then they're willing to experiment and try out different foods. So I highly encourage you, if you are struggling to get your kids on board, then make sure that you get them involved in the kitchen and help you guys out. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I am also on Instagram and TikTok. You can also find me there. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys very soon on my next video.